Part of what makes LG Smart TV with WebOS so smart is the way it connects with other devices. Everything from a smartphone or tablet, your PC, and of course a Blu-ray player, home theater system, or soundbar. To begin, press the home button on the Magic Remote, then navigate to the right until you see this blue tab with the icon of the two plugs. Click on it to launch the device connector. And here we see step one, device selection. We can choose to connect a set-top box, a Blu-ray or DVD player, a home theater system, a sound bar, external speakers or a pair of headphones, a game console, smartphone, PC, external storage such as a USB drive, or another box, including a legacy device such as a VCR. We cover cable and satellite set-top boxes in our initial setup video. So now let's try a Blu-ray player. Click on it, and in the second step, you'll be asked at which port you'd like to connect it, and you'll be shown a list of available inputs. Click on HDMI 1 as an example, then plug your Blu-ray player's cable in at HDMI 1 around the back of the TV. If your Blu-ray player is powered on, you should see its video output displayed in this window at the center of the screen, above the word Connected. Click Next up here to the right. You'll learn about SimpLink, which allows you to control all LG devices connected by HDMI using only the Magic Remote. SimpLink defaults to on, along with Auto Power Sync, so when you turn on your LG Blu-ray player in the future, the TV will power on automatically. Click Next to find out about Universal Control, which lets you use the Magic Remote to control your player, even if it's not made by LG. You'll be reminded to keep your connected Blu-ray player no more than three feet from the TV and not behind a door or inside a closed drawer in order to work properly with universal control. Click Next to choose the manufacturer. Then Next again to choose the remote type and confirm that your Magic Remote can now operate your Blu-ray player. Click here on Power. Did your connected player turn on? Click on Play. Did it begin playing? Give each command a few seconds to work, because response times can vary. If this doesn't work, click on this small arrow to switch the remote type and try again. Chances are, one of them will work with your Blu-ray player. When it does, click Next and your universal control setup for this device is complete. Click Next to review what you've done, and Next once more to complete the device connection process and begin using your connected Blu-ray player. Or if you click back to the main device connector page, you'll see the addition of this little icon to indicate successful setup of universal control for your Blu-ray player. And for even greater convenience, your player has been added to the launcher, so you can navigate right to it. You can also edit the label for this device as well as its icon. To do this, press the input button on the remote control. And then at the bottom of the list that appears, click on all inputs, then click here for the label and here for the icon. And so, in just a few simple steps, your Blu-ray disc player is connected and ready to enjoy, better than ever.